Hello, welcome everyone. It's a call for Wiki. We're previewing this week's well, Friday morning Australian time NFL game with Jacob from Tripod. How are you, mate? Going well, thanks, Matt. Really enjoyed the big slate of games on Thanksgiving last week. We had even more to talk about. And there was a bonus game Saturday Aussie time. And yeah, there's been some cracking games in the NFL. It's been a really exciting season. Awesome. Okay, well, we'll get straight into it. I think we've done the round of explaining what the odds comparison tool and stuff is the last few times. So I won't go into all of that. But if you Google Wiki Linktree, obviously, you can check out the podcast that we're doing now, both on YouTube and the audio version, um, the NBA and the NFL odds comparison tools and everything else that um that Wiki is doing out doing throughout this summer, especially with the BBL as well. Um and obviously, you know, tripod Facebook group. You can um you can check out Jacob's stuff there where I keep forgetting it's like almost thirty thousand people on there, right? I keep asking you every time. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> striving to get to thirty thousand. That'd be nice. Love it. Now we'll get there soon. Awesome. All right. Well I'll share my screen. I'll go through the odds comparison too but do you want to just get into a quick preview of the game? Yeah, sure. So we have the six and five Seattle Seahawks are at the eight and three Dallas Cowboys. Both these teams played on Thanksgiving. They did have very different fortunes. Seattle's in a little bit of a spiral. They look like a dead set playoff team, but they got pumped at home on Thanksgiving. We were happy about that because we hit the first touchdown against them. That was 11 odds. So again, the odds comparison tool, you know, really showed you those juicy odds about Debo Samuel. He did score first for San Fran in a big 31 to 13 win. And it's not going to get any easier for the Seahawks. They're going to Arlington now. They're playing a really impressive Cowboys team who scored 45 points on Turkey Day. Now, there's one critique of the Cowboys this season that when they win, they're really impressive, but they're yet to beat a team with a winning record. And that is what the challenge that is presented to them with Seattle. However, I think that record is going to change. I do expect uh, Dallas should win this one comfortably. So then that's how I'm going to dial in on my player to score and look for a Cowboy. And I'm sorry to repeat myself, but that's the nature of long shots is it's not going to hit every week, but it can still be a good bet. And I made the case a week ago for Dak Prescott, the Cowboys quarterback. I think he's the identical odds this week again for first touchdown. $26 I saw, Nicole, on the odds comparison tool. I just can't ignore that price. Yep, that is... um... I, uh, as you guys know, like I'm just getting to, well, I'm getting to know both sports and I saw, I just sorted by market value just to have a quick look and I saw Prescott stood out straight away. So I'm, I'm glad that he's actually a, a good value pick from a, an actual sport point of view as well. Yeah. So 162. So the market value column is telling you 162% of the next best price. And again, I've talked about him being an MVP candidate. So I shared that as well a week ago, his odds have halved since then. And, you know, about him being a good bet to win MVP and in a nationally televised standalone game, I could see him sneaking one in. There's more likely candidates like Pollard, Lamb, of course, but they're about sixes, sevens. That's a bit short for me. So I will have another crack with Dak. And, Nicole, I was wondering, in the footy season just gone, are there any players that kind of spring into your mind where their price just seemed really good, but they don't necessarily hit? So you kind of find them again and again at the same price. So are there any guys that who you were playing, yep. you know, weeks in a row? hundred percent. Like a lot of the names that I can think of like setters or second rollers were like, you know, they're good players. You can see them scoring and the odds keep popping up. Oh, I can't think of any names from memory though, but I can definitely think of a few second rollers that like keep popping up as value. And sometimes I'm just thinking like, what the hell is coming? Like why it is? Like, I can't think of it. It's like the player stats or sometimes it can be like one bookie keeps pricing a certain player like you think it's incorrectly and then when it plays out you're like ah oh, dude i've got it on this seven weeks in a row i might have to give up on this one <laughs> and the funny thing is that if one bookie has a player at an outlier or even multiple they might not realize even if people are backing it if people if it doesn't win they yes. may not correct the mistake uh, mm. because they don't you know they're probably not going to notice until it pays out and then then they may take a closer look. So actually, that can be the nature of some of these long shots. Actually, yeah, I just thought of a good example, right? So Josh Papali'i, he's one that for the last, ever since I started Wiki, like three or four seasons, I keep going on about how he's the best middle forward try scorer in the NRL. And obviously he's getting towards the end of his, his career, right? So, and like the bookies don't always price props where they should be. They're just like, ah, middle forward, price him as a long shot kind of thing. Um, and there was another one, Stefano Utokamano, it was them two. 
And the most heartbreaking one, I won't go on too long, but the most heartbreaking thing was the Raiders Dogs game. Papa Lee scored last, and I tipped him at 51s or whatever. And then some random, uh, who was it? It was one of the Dogs bench forwards scored with like a minute to go to kill the play. Like with but, um, Dell or something, or oh, Warren, one of something those, like that. Yeah. Not, it, yeah, one of those. I remember they just scored it <laughs> totally against the run of play. Very heartbreaking, late. and it meant nothing for the game as well. But anyways, let's get. And past you know that that's PTSD. that's yeah. the that's you getting on some of these props because they actually can score, even though historically props haven't scored much in the NRL. It's a little yeah. bit like that in the NFL, where historically quarterbacks don't score a lot of rushing touchdowns, ah. but I do believe they're scoring more of them more consistently these days, and teams are going to that QB option, whether it is a sneak or even to run it in so especially in important games and i mentioned i think dallas wants to prove a point that they can beat a team with a winning record i think then the quarterback who's so valuable and so important will you know be willing to take an extra hit or two for the opportunity Mm. to score so 26 about prescott very long odds there but you know we've only got to hit that once in this series uh to pay off no awesome and uh, i just i thought i'd just have a quick look at prescott at um Anytime try score. And the funny thing is sometimes bookies like copy each other's odds as well. So like sometimes you might get value mm-hmm. purely off one bookie's got it value, the other bookie doesn't realize. Um, any value in the sixes anytime for Prescott or, or is that sort of about fair? Yeah, I'm looking at that. I'm going, all right, six to one or uh, or 26 for first. So if there's if there's more than four touchdowns in the game, then if and so if you're leaning towards it being a higher scoring game. Then six dollars is also good value. I'm probably off the top of my head, probably is projected to be around four touchdowns, but maybe the over under is four and a half. So that would not be a bad play either, because of course, as you know with your try score tips too, how much does it hurt yeah. when you have someone first and they cross okay. second, <laughs> or really any yep. stage in the game? You're thinking, why couldn't that have been when I needed you? Yeah, yeah, no, hundred percent. Um, I'll, just while I've got your mind as well, ask any value in this bloke at 19's anytime try scorer? I mean, anytime touchdown scorer, sorry. I've no idea who he is. So I thought I'd just throw it out. I haven't known 19. I can't even, I'm not even familiar with that player, McKeon. So ah, th- 19 bucks away, then. anytime is someone who might only score one, I mean, one touchdown a season. So yeah, yeah. for me, that's a bit more of a needle in a haystack. I, I kind of prefer a player that I know the opportunity can be there. Um, yep. even if I've got a pinpoint a moment in a game like first touchdown rather yep. than yeah some of these guys you just don't even know if they're going to get a play run for them that's nah, right I thought I'd just ask you because I know this NRL season it was really cool seeing a few different people on the tripod group like throw like on the Facebook um, post throw out their tips for try scorers and so many people have like a different way to play it and it was actually really nice to to sort of see other people's versions of this is a good value pick because of this. Some people throw out historical stats. I obviously try to find the best odds across bookies, uh, but there's just so many ways, to, uh, so many different ways to see it, which I thought would be cool to us. But um, awesome. All right. Well, yeah. Again, Google Wiki link tree. Check out the pod and everything else. And uh, yeah, we're, we're about to get onto the NBA preview, so we'll catch you guys soon.